everybody, it's Jen from Jen Geigly Knits. It is October, it is officially sweater knitting season, even if it doesn't feel like it in your neck of the woods. Here in the Midwest, it's been like in the 90s the past few days, which is weird and not right. But it is October, I'm knitting sweaters, I'm guessing you're probably knitting stuff too. And I did just finish this beautiful Colorwork Yoke sweater. This is my design called Francis. It's actually from a book with that I did with Rowan a couple of years ago called Modern Women's Knits. This is with Quail Studio. And in this version, this sweater was done in just two colors. It was kind of a navy gray with a bright yellow. And then I decided to do another version of it in a different yarn. This is Rowan Felted Tweed. And I got to use all my tiny little leftovers and it's so lovely. And then, you know, gray for the body. Um, same gauge, different yarn. The other yarn in this book was Rowan Island Blend, which has been discontinued, but Felted Tweed is the same gauge, knits up the same, um, same fit. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's just a very basic classic um, sweater, nothing too fancy or special, but the color work, the thing I love about this is um, none of the little motifs are more than four stitches. So you don't have to carry any floats or catch any floats. And it just, it's really speedy and fun. And the col for the multicolored version, you can just kind of pick and choose and do whatever you want. And it really turned out so fun, I think. Um, the fit is fantastic. It's a little wrinkly because I haven't blocked it yet because I was too excited. I just wanted to put it on, but I love felted tweed for a sweater. It's very light. It's, it's wool, but it's not heavy at all. It's very lightweight. It's a good weight. You can throw a t-shirt under it or not. And even without blocking, it's really not too bad because I haven't blocked it at all. And it's not even, it's one of those that you can maybe like spritz with a bit of water and just wear it. That's like my lazy, I don't want to block it blocking because sometimes I don't know. I don't have time to wait for it to dry. So sometimes you just block it by wearing it. Anyway, I'm just very happy about this sweater. I think it's really fun. Um, it is on Ravelry and on Quail Studios website and in this book if you're interested in the pattern. Um, it is very fun to knit and you could do the two color version or use up some scraps either way. And I'm just happy it's finished. Speaking of sweaters, I think this is going to be one of my Rhinebeck sweaters. Um, yes, I'm going to go to Rhinebeck this year. I wasn't sure at first if I would go this year. Um, I went to New York Sheep and Will last year with some friends. It was actually really, really, really fun. We did it all and then we did a few days in New York City. Um, but for some reason last year I was a little off and it was like I was having migraines almost every day, which was weird. And then I wasn't getting much sleep. And then I was having like car sickness <laughs> from some of the windy roads. Um, and like the three of those things kind of made me like, and then I had like on top of that anxiety. And then I was reading like the side effects label of my migraine medicine and it's like, can cause panic attacks. And I was like, okay, maybe that's what was going on last year. I still, you probably never knew any of this if you saw me, cause I was having the time of my life and we had so much fun and we went to all the events and it was such a blast. But and, I mean, it was really totally fine. But some of this was like, do I really wanna go do that again? But it's not like this is gonna happen again. It was just a weird like headachey week or I don't know, it was weird. <laughs> but I still had so much fun. So anyway, I was talking to my friend Erica this year um, who I went with last year. Um, she's my friend locally that we, um, we used to host a knitting retreat together and she used to own a yarn shop here in Des Moines that was also a vintage clothing shop. It was the coolest. Um, anyway, I was talking to Erica and she's like, but Jen, we did have so much fun and wouldn't it be sad if we didn't go back this year? And I know I would be so bummed if I was missing out this year. And now I'm so excited as the months have gone on, um, like post summer, I've been like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to go back to Rhinebeck. <laughs> 
and excited to go to upstate New York and maybe do a little hiking and exploring and knitting and all the things, all the events. So I'm going to Rhinebeck with my friend Erica. Super excited. I'm probably going to wear this and I'm trying to figure out what my other sweaters are going to be. I'm still knitting one more sweater that I want to finish in the next two weeks. We'll see if it happens, but it's worsted, so there's a chance it's possible. You never know. I finished this really fast. Like, I think I did these sleeves in like four days, really, most of them. So but it's been busy. Anyway, Rhinebeck. So I, <laughs> if you're going to New York Sheep and Wool, keep an eye out. Say hi if you see me. I love seeing all my long distance friends. Um, our plan is to go to Cake Palooza on Friday morning. Then we're gonna go to Wool and Full, which I'm so excited. And even though, and I, um, I know a lot of you know, the event venue for Wool and Folk has changed, um, but I think this is a really smart decision. And Felicia always, like she, she does it right every time. Her event planning skills are second to none. Like um, she knows what she's doing. And I think she really made a smart decision relocating the um, event this time and to make it better for the vendors and in case of bad weather for all of us, a better experience. So I'm really happy that she chose this new place and it looks amazing. You should go check out the website if you haven't checked it out yet because it looks fantastic um, and beautiful. And it gives us a chance to go explore the Catskills, which is a different area than we normally venture into. So I'm really excited about Wolven Folk this year. I'm excited to see where it's at and the beautiful area. And the town I heard is really beautiful and fun and lots of little places to check out in town as well. So yeah, and then New York Sheep and Wool, we'll do Saturday and Sunday, of course. I've got some little things in between. And then I think we're doing Jill Draper's open air studio Sunday afternoon. There's a lot of things. There's like a schedule. There's an itinerary. <laughs> we are like fully booked. It's really exciting and I can't wait. I'm already really excited. And then in the meantime, I'm not gonna get into this totally yet, but I'll share it later. So you'll see it later. But me and my family have a big thing coming up this week and part of next, most of next week, right up until New York Sheep and Wool. So there's like a lot going on back to back in my life right now, plus work and stuff. So I'm just trying to balance it all, um, enjoy it all. And then I'm really looking forward to going to New York. So yay, really fun stuff. Anyway, this is just a kind of a quick check-in for today before all this stuff happens. A little bit of like pre rhinebeck I don't know, knitting plans and stuff, what I'm working on. Um, one fun thing that I am happy to share is, um, my friend Anna of Mochi Mochi Land, I think it's Mochi Mochi World or Mochi Mochi Land on Instagram and Facebook, it's two different things, but um, you know who I'm talking about. She knits all the tiny little cats and animals and gnomes and globes and worlds. Like if you've ever been to Vogue Knitting Live, she makes whole displays of the whole Mochi Mochi Land universe. And she has a new book called Cat Side Up, Cat Side Down that is adorable and I had to share. Um, she sent me a copy, which was so kind, and I just wanted to share it with you because it's really, really fun. And it has more than 50 knitted cats. And it's fun for adults and children, but it's like prepositions and fun little rhymes that she wrote and then photographed. And I won't show you all of it, but look how fun these cats are. And like this little turntable cat, I adore. There's also another one that is my favorite that I wanted to share. It's really cute. Like this one with the catnip, sorry. And a little x-ray. But, oh yeah. Adorable. Very fun for any knitter that you know or any kid or any child knitter too, or just kids, anybody. Um, this is my favorite page, is this little cat wearing a neon green shrug. It's so cute. <laughs> These pages, the little story is so different and unique and fun. And the, her photography and her cats and her styling of this is just hilarious and unique and 
really fun to look at. So that's just a little taste of what is in this book. Go check it out. It's on sale now wherever books are sold and it's really, really fun. Anyway, that's that. Um, also, I am for the first time participating in Stephen West MCAL and I ordered a kit from Stephen and Penelope. I have never done this before. I've always been looking though and watching everybody do their shawls and their MCALs and their projects. Um, it's always so fun and Stephen is a genius as we all know and there's no one like him and his projects are so different and unique. And they always teach you something. Like I just did the sock along that he did and that's why I wanted to do this MCAL as well. The timing is horrible for me <laughs> because we have this big thing coming up this week and next week with my family and then right when I'm done with that I go to New York to New York City fly in and for Rhinebeck and everything so I don't know if I'll be able to cast on on the right day but I hope to just jump in when I can catch up it doesn't have to be on time like I'm not super pressured like that but anyway let me show you my kit because it's really fun he has three different bags for the geo gradient with the, you know the theme the space theme which this is part of the reason I'm doing this is because I love, I'm a graphic designer and I loved, love, love this graphic and this design. And um, out of the three bags, there was like two I was really hoping for. And this is one of them. I also really love the yellow with the kind of seafoam green graphic, but I really love this because it's kind of my neon yellow. I love it. And it's kind of like a rust, beautiful color. So yeah, love the bag. And then the kit I chose is called, I can't reach it, the Pickle Kit. The Pickle Kit. It is so cute. Let me put it in order. It's so fun. All of his kits this year are gradients of, of like one color with different shades. Um, and I was really drawn to these greens with kind of this neon yellow color. And so their names are the Bicycle, um, the Westwool Bicycle Yarn, which is really nice. And for the bicycle kit, you get two skeins of each yarn, or uh, yeah, two skeins of each color because these skeins are a little smaller and you need more yardage. So like, yes, I will take all of it. Um, so this one is called Pickle Juice, which is like exact pickle juice. <laughs> this one is called Avocado love it this one is called green olive like it's perfection seriously and then this is wellington i love them all individually and together and i love them and i love them and i really hope i can cast on i don't know when but maybe it might have to be after rhinebeck but we'll see i mean it depends on how complicated it is He's always, he intimidates me just a tiny bit because some of it's so complex, but not really because he does make videos for every step. Like those, um, the sock along that I did looks absolutely like madness, <laughs> but really when you do it every step of the way, it was not hard at all. You just have to kind of pay attention. So we'll see if I can pay attention at Rhinebeck and if I can't, I will <laughs> wait till I get home. But I'm so excited to get going on this and to see everybody's progress. And also, um, I made a new online friend. Hi, Steven, if you're watching. It's another Steven, not Steven West. <laughs> um, but my, my new online friend, Steven and I both chose the pickle kit um, and we kind of befriended each other because of this. And then we both posted our unboxing videos on Instagram using David Bowie songs, like Space Odyssey, like um, David Bowie theme music. And so we like, became friends over that. And now I've been watching his podcast on YouTube and I hope to maybe run into him at Rhinebeck and maybe we'll have a little bit of progress on our pickle kits to share, maybe. Also in the kit is um, the bag and then needle gauge ruler, neon yellow, which I love. And then a cute little pack of labels. There's like an MCAL label and then other labels and these stickers. So you get, you get like West Knits labels. Um, the back is so cute. It's like 100% amazing. And then the West Kits MCAL 2023. Very, very cute. Love these. 
And then you get these awesome space stickers that are like really fun. So yeah, who doesn't like stickers and labels? And a little ruler and the bag. <laughs> Most of all, the bag. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited about it. I'll be jumping in late, but I'm excited about it. That's that. The only other thing I really have going besides finishing this, like this was my big thing this week. Um, I am working on a throw over, which I don't have up here, so I'm not gonna show you again, but um, a throw over by Andrea Mowry in some yarn that I bought at Rhinebeck last year. And that's kind of my, if I can finish it in two weeks thing, I'll do it. You never know. I get at the end of this, like the little last push before Rhinebeck, um, we can do amazing things. <laughs> like you, you think you have all this time all summer long to finish your sweaters and then it's like, oh, and then the past two weeks, they can just kind of bust it out. The other thing I feel like I was missing in my life was a red, um, like a watch cap, a simple red one by one ribbed hat. And this is Zisu Red by Pancake and Lulu, my friend. Um, it's the perfect, perfect, perfect red. And it's really nice. This yarn is amazing. And I'm knitting it really tight on fours. This is a DK, I think. And so I'm just making a simple watch cap. I just imagined like me and Erica might do like a little outdoorsy hiking a little bit in New York when we're up there um, or looking at, you know, foraging for mushrooms or who knows what. <laughs> Campfire time. And I just imagined like I need a red hat for that, right? Or even walking through Central Park, like, I don't know. I just felt like all my hats are boring and I need a red hat. So I'm making a red hat, throw over, MCAL and that's kind of good enough for now. I'll want to make more things in the next two weeks. I will like get excited and see things. I also wanted to make, I've had like a list of ideas of things to make for the longest time. It's out of control, but I also have a whole bag full of black let lopi, like the worsted lopi. And I was going to make just a really simple black pullover, which I also feel like is something I need for New York. And just, I wear black all the time. I wear black t-shirts all the time. And then I wear black sweatshirts all the time. And I just wear, I always have a black top and whatever pants. And so I was like, all I really want is like a very simple crew neck black sweater. And I have this lopi, which I really like wearing lopi. And I knit it at a looser gauge. So it's almost light and it's not as hot as you might think, and it, but it's a cozy layer if you want it to be. And so if I had time, <laughs> I wanna make the throw over first, but if I sort of had time to sneak in a black sweater where I have enough daylight knitting time to see it, that would be great. So that's my other kind of half goal before Ryan Beck, but we'll see. Or maybe I would bring that with me as a project to work on while I'm in New York. Anyway, that's really it for today. I'm kind of pre-packing already. I don't know if anybody else does that because I have to really think about like what outfits work and like the bottom layers, the upper layers. And then I have options for like hot weather, cold weather, and then like outdoorsy outfits, comfy knitting nighttime outfits, and then like New York City outfits. <laughs> and then I try to like, you know, combine all of that into whatever, like a capsule wardrobe for Rhinebeck, but yeah. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to make a quick check-in video before life gets really, really busy around here. Um, let me know what you're knitting because I love to hear about what you're working on. Are you making Rhinebeck sweaters? Are you joining the West Knits MCAL? Are you making other things? Let me know. Um, and as I said before, I'm really excited about Rhinebeck and I can't believe it's October. I can't believe it's coming up so soon. Um, I can't wait to see all the sheep and the beautiful leaves, you know, like the whole time I'm there, we're all just like, look at the leaves. They're just so beyond beautiful that it's just like the most magical way to celebrate fall, I think, is in that environment with the beautiful surroundings and the nature and the, the leaves are seriously so cool. 
Um, I'm looking forward to an apple cider donut. I am ready for the whole thing. Um, I'm really excited to go back. If you're curious about New York Sheep and Wool slash Rhinebeck, um, if you're going for the first time or if you just want to know more about it, check out my recap videos from the past few years. Um, I did videos leading up to it and Rhinebeck recap videos of like the whole thing. I have a whole playlist of Rhinebeck videos, so you can go check that out if you're wanting to get into the Rhinebeck spirit. It's a great way to do it. Um, if you're not going to Rhinebeck, I totally get it. It's a lot. It's a total journey of its own with its own um, unique challenges with travel and lodging. It takes a lot of planning and it's a whole excursion and it's a lot. It's not for everyone and I totally get that and respect that too. So um, I do hope to share more here uh, if you can't go or if you're just curious about it. Um, so I'll be sharing about this year's events and I'll make videos while I'm there, you know, just randomly of the stuff we come across. Um, so if you want to see what it's like, check back here in a few weeks and I'll post some recap stuff. And if you are going to be there, I do really hope I run into you. Please say hi if you see me wandering around or waiting in the donut line or wherever. Um, thank you so much once again for hanging out with me. I hope you're having a good October so far and I will see you in the next video, which might be a Rhinebeck recap. Thanks for watching. Bye.